My name is Jessica Baker and I live in Maple Grove and this is my daughter. It's Kenzie. And I'm a gymnast. Kenzie is seven years old. Kenzie's very bright and sunny. She's got a lot of energy, a lot of spunk. <laughs> This child is going and going and going and going. Um, sometime I'll stop here. <laughs> Kenzie was born with multiple heart conditions. Her main heart condition is complete heart block. So that means that she's got a very low heart rate on her own, which is why she has a pacemaker. She was only four pounds when she was born, itty bitty. She then had a emergency surgery the night she was born um, just because her heart wasn't doing as great as we had hoped. Then she had her first like major surgery to put in her permanent pacemaker. She had a Holter monitor put on, so it was a monitor that just stuck to her chest that could monitor her heart. It was like right up here. Right there. They check and see if my heart's doing well, and the monitor monitors my heart. I was at home, um, and Kenzie was at school. I was on the monkey bars, and I like fell down at school. I went to the nurse's office. She was worried about her heart, and because she had the upcoming surgery and the nurse checked and she called my mom. I had just kind of explained how to, you know, push the button, what to do, um, and then how to like reset it. When a patient pushes a button, it's gonna send that event directly into our triage within the lab. And that technician's gonna take a look to see if there's any arrhythmias. Sometimes it's considered a stable report or a stable event and we'll just send that off to the practice. Sometimes it's a critical or serious event and we have to get in touch with the practice urgently. A little bit later, the doctors called me um, just to assure me that everything was still looking you know, normal for Kenzie. Being able to just push a button and have it sent right away to experts at Boston Sci and Preventus and then having that information read and sent over to her team of doctors um, just really kind of is a godsend. Without something like that monitor, we would just be guessing. I mean, I think it's just that peace of mind in knowing why they have the device and knowing that they've got someone that's watching them. I've had those moments where I'm just like sitting back and watching her play or, you know, have friends over and they're running around like crazy. It's shocking to me still that we're at where we are and came from from where she was. It makes you sit back and, and really think about life in a different way. We're making cookies. Having the monitor um, available to us is definitely a peace of mind and comfort. Now I can just run and play all day. My favorite thing in the whole entire world is my family. We are very excited and um, we have a little brother on the way for Kenzie. She's finally gonna be a big sister. <laughs> you give the best hugs. And I love to always say hi to my baby brother. These are my hugs and my baby brother. <laughs> You have a whole huge support system just outside of your family and friends, just knowing that there were people to call, keeping her safe and, and making sure that everything's working well in those dire times.